can ah, he's got me he's got me like look at that beautiful blue coloration on the bottom Hey guys, I am doing some hiking today. I will let you know if I find anything. No. We are seeing nothing, but here's this little, little prairie or spiny lizard. Just a little one, probably four inches long. I remember that the last time I was here, I saw all of these beautiful like bluish green beetles and I managed to get my hands on one. We'll see if it flies away. Look at that. Here's a pair of them mating. I assume they're mating and not biting, but much larger than the other race owners that I've seen today, at least. I'm gonna try and catch it. <laughs> oh my God, it's already over there. I wish it was all physically possible for me to um, have recorded what just happened, but I, I just flipped this lizard some sort of like prairie or I'm guessing it's prairie but oh, look at that beautiful blue coloration on the bottom which means it's a male yeah this one's also a, a kind of nice sandy color the ones I've seen before are a little more just kind of uh, dark gray slash dark brown but this one has like a, a light sandy texture coming through anyways what was so interesting is that whenever I flipped this it was scurrying back and forth kind of trying to decide where to run away and it actually ran up my leg and then I grabbed it <laughs> All right, he's getting upset. I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> Jesus. Interesting though. That one's actually carrying like a dead one, I think. No, no, that's a stick. Interesting. Flipping some trash after the gym and I, I got this green and all who's latched onto me. He's pretty unhappy. Uh, he actually dropped his tail in the process. So I feel a little bad about that, but I'm gonna let him go as soon as he lets me go. <laughs> there we go. All right, let me cover you back up. That had actually been there for a while. No snakes. I am walking the dogs here, Kai, and I flipped a cute little Mediterranean gecko. These are Mediterranean house gecko. These are an invasive species. Really nice looking though. Very cool. I think one of a couple gecko species we have in Texas, and then I'm pretty sure there's a couple of at least two rough earth snakes under this same piece. I'm not gonna bother them, but just because I've shown one right there, just one right here. Pretty cool. I've been looking under these logs like almost every time that I walk the dogs. Never found anything until now. And nothing under this. Cool. All right, bye snakes. Bye gecko. There's this old cabinet over here that I uh, have checked under a few times. Let's see if there's anything here. Got a hold of one of these dogs though, Kai just saw a cat. Nothing there. Hopefully I didn't get the clip because I was too busy dealing with these dogs, but let me calm this guy down. Got a nice little western or red stripe, red stripe rib, ribbon snake. There's the snake. And you can see Right in the middle of the city, we've got people right here. Cool. I'm gonna release this ribbon snake. I want it to go the other way, because I actually have a few pieces to look under over here still. I think that's fine, I need to look under this stuff. You no, know, another slightly larger ribbon snake. The Amnophis proximus. If you've ever handled a garter snake or a ribbon snake, you know that their musk is not fun to deal with, which is why 
not catching them is a great option. And I'm just a weirdo. There we go. Maybe we can actually focus on them. It's so hard in this light. There we go. A little bit. <laughs> kind of see them. Cool. I'm here with my friends slash family and we're here and I am, you can't really see, but I'm covered in water because I just caught this little cutie. I think it's a banded water snake. Maybe it's just a plain bellied water snake as a baby. I'm not sure to be honest, but pretty cute. Forrest is holding a snake for, I don't know if it's the first time in his life. No, but. it's not the first time. <laughs> 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 yeah. Alright, he's cute. We'll let it go. Here we go. Say goodbye. There he goes. Cool. Hey guys, so since I saw that snake earlier, um, I've been hanging out at my friend's apartment complex here. And uh, yeah, I want to go see if there's any more snakes down there. I've not quite left the apartment. I've got my first hurt, but I believe this is a Mediterranean house gecko. Let's see if I can catch it. It's gonna be quick though. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. These things are so cool looking. Ha! There's a crawdad right there. Haven't seen one of those in a while, that's for sure. Not sure if this is a different one, but we've got another leave plain bellied water snake. I'm gonna try and catch this one. That one definitely just submerged and swam away. We'll have to see if it pops up anywhere. I'm sure that he's just here munching away on these minnows. Just three meals sitting here. I've actually got a larger water snake right there. I believe this one's bigger than the other three that we've seen. He's just swimming into the current though. We'll see if he gets a little closer. Did he just get pushed away? I don't see him anymore. It's kind of creepy. See the head of one right there. It's a big rock. I'm gonna try and catch this one. So I'm holding the flashlight under my chin. I did manage to grab this one. This is a, a plain belly. Can, ah, he's got me. He's got me. Let go, buddy. Let go. Let go. Oh, he got me pretty good, honestly. This one's, I think, potentially the one that I saw when I first came here. There is a bigger one out there. I haven't seen it since I saw it swimming against the current. But yeah, I will release this one back where I got him and let him get to hunting some fish. <laughs> All right, time to let him go. Go away, buddy. <laughs> Peace out. This guy got me pretty darn good. Whew. We didn't uh, catch any more snakes, saw three, potentially two, not sure if one was the same snake or not, but caught one. Now it's time to head back inside and continue Netflix with my friends.